Okay, big duel tonight, you guys, Lake Erie College. Uh, the snow squall is picking up outside. It's perfect to be in, in a gym yeah. tonight for you guys, but uh, what can we expect out of the Eagles of Ashland tonight? Well, I think it's going to be a good duel. I mean, I think there's going to be a lot of close matches, a lot of battles, and so we told the guys this is our last dress rehearsal before the regional tournament, so we just want them to go out and, and show us what they got, you know, give it all they have. You know, so we're getting close. You know, it's, it's February. It's yeah. the home stretch here. You know, you guys don't have much left. Yeah. What do you guys got? What do you got to see tonight out of guys to see that, hey, this guy can make the NCAA tournament for us. He can get through that regional. He can qualify for us. What do you need to see out yeah. of guys tonight? Well, it's different for each weight because, you know, it's uh, it's a new regional system. We only get three qualifiers out uh, of each region. So some of the regions are, are stacked like heavyweights. We've got number one, two, and three ranked in the country in our region. So in order to get out, you got to beat somebody in the top three. Um, other weight classes are a little lighter, so really it's different per guys, but we want to get the same consistency out of them. We want them going out there, obviously controlling the pace of the match, not giving up in any situation, and obviously finishing. You know, We work on conditioning every day, so we want to see these guys finishing the matches. There's no question you can't win an NCAA title at heavyweight. And I know, obviously, 41. He won the toughest, in, you know, in 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 season tournament, right? Yeah. He can win too. Yeah. Is there any other guys you're really looking forward to kind of ride those guys' coattails and build momentum? Yeah, of course. Our, our returning national champ is also in the mix at, at 165. So we want to see him uh, get back to form. He's had a, he's had a couple of bad matches, but you know, close matches through the year can go either way. And so he's lost a couple of those, and we're looking for him to get back on on a winning streak and hopefully go undefeated the rest of the season. You look at it. How many national champs you guys have last year? Two. You had two national champs. Yeah. You had, you had yeah. 20% of the national champs. <laughs> Ashland yeah. University yeah. in Ohio, right? <laughs> yep. You know, and uh, like I said, my hometown guy, Kramer, shout yeah. out to him. Yeah. Um, you know, he got it done finally in his senior year. Yeah. But, you know, you, you got guys, you can go and get it done at the national tournament here in Cleveland. Definitely. Right? Yeah, we're, was it our hour from the host, technically, yeah. We're Are the you the host? Sport. Yes. I didn't know if yeah. these guys were of Notre yes. Dame was. Us and uh, the Cleveland Sports Commission are co-hosting. And so, uh, yeah, we're the, we're the host. What's it gonna know? You know, what's it gonna be like to know that you guys could, you know, you're gonna be local. Gonna be a lot of good fan support. Oh, it's yeah. a pretty good venue, yeah. right? They host a 1998 NCAA tournament. What do you guys got to do to max out on those the qualifiers and the All Americans? Well, obviously having it here and we're being the host, you know, you get a lot of local guys, you know, from Ohio that are on our team, and so that's just a little extra motivation for them to know that their parents are not only going to be there, but some other friends and family members are going to come watch them. So the motivation to get there is a lot higher than, than it is in normal years. And obviously once you get there, then it's going to be crazy. You know, you're going to go there and you know, the nerves are going to come in, but you know, the adrenaline is going to be pumping from day one. Your system is so, your qualification system is so yeah. different than D1. Oh yeah. D1 guys yeah. got mulligans. Yeah. They got mulligans at their conference. You guys yeah. don't have any mulligans, no injuries, none of that stuff no. at the regional for you guys. No, no it's one day. you got to be on that day, and if you're not, you don't go. You know, um, So it's, it's tough, but on the, on the good side of it, you say you got to be on for that day. And so the rest of the season doesn't really matter. You can come in the number one seed, or you can come in unseeded, and, and we've, we've seen it. It doesn't matter. You can come in unseated and win the region, or at least qualify. You know, so it, it happens every year. Unfortunately, the, the opposite happens where a guy that's the number one seed doesn't make it out. You know, returning national qualifier, returning all Americans don't make it out. So much parity in D two. I love it. That's what yeah. I really love about yeah. it. It's it's really, really like it's a pleasure to watch. Because I you know I went to the 2014 championships. I called the finals, and the amount of parity. You know, I called it from opening whistle to the the finals, and the yeah. parity is incredible. Yeah. Oh yeah, you that, that anybody can win it. How yeah. awesome is that? Yeah. It's, it's rare where you have somebody who's so dominant that you know that it's going to be over before it starts. Most of the weight classes, you go and you say, there's like five, six guys who have a chance to win that weight class. You know, I look at Boggs. Yeah. Boggs is just like a guy, you know, you're going to be battling him tonight, but yeah. that's a guy who could go on tour and win the national title. Oh, and yeah. you got guys like that yeah. too. Menard, right? Yeah. He, he's yeah. a guy that could go on tour or win the national title, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I, I tell these guys that too. Obviously, in the duel tonight, you'll see a few guys that I think have the capability of winning uh, uh, a national title on either side. Obviously, within the state, you talk about you know all the different schools, Tiffin, Finley, Notre Dame. You take all these schools, and it's like there's there's a lot of those guys in that region that could that could go out and win the national title. The growth of D2, you've seen it. You're in Colorado, School of Mines, and then you come to Ashland. I thought you, yeah. maybe you bumped your head. I, I asked you why you did that, but yeah. you know, Colorado's yeah. a great place, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, but um, you know, and then you come to a different school here. You're from the yeah. Midwest, so. Yeah. You know, what's the growth been like for you to yeah. see from Colorado and then coming into Ohio? Oh, yeah. When I was in Colorado, I was actually there for one year as an assistant before I'd come back later on. And, and uh, that was uh, around 2002, 2003, when I think that Division Two was at its lowest. I think we were down to like no, Yeah, 2003, teams. 38 teams. Yeah. I saw that yeah. the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah so I saw I was, that. I was coaching in D2 then, you know, that's before I went uh, to Virginia. But 
uh, as I've come back, just watch it slowly grow each year. We were just looking at the signs on the wall here at the conference, you know, and, and all the teams that have been added over the last five years, and it's just great. It's so exciting to be part of it. The teams that are in Ohio, the, the teams that are coming in the region, and then even nationally, just all these new teams. All right, Coach. Well, I'm excited for this duel. i got to go get some notes. Go get your lineup. <laughs> yeah. You got anything else for me? No, I think, I think it should be a fun night. Hope it's going to be a fun night. Okay. Well, hey, good luck to you guys. <laughs> Thank you.